Hey guys, it's Doc, and I normally don't do this, but uh, this is the end of the video, and I'm going to put it first, and let me explain why. Um, we, I just got a notification from Amazon, excuse me, from Andersons, I talked to them, and they got notification from Amazon that due to everything that's going on, all the craziness, um, they're not accepting any new shipments from vendors that weren't already booked. So they're not taking any more trucks from Anderson for a period of about two and a half weeks. The only thing that they're taking new shipments in on are food and medical supplies. So I just want to warn you about that. So if it's a food or if it's a medical supply, all your lawn care products are, are right now are on stop. Anything that's inventory, in inventory, or a truck that was scheduled and on the way is good. But other than that, it's not going to go in. I want to warn you guys. I talked about this. I've been talking about this for four weeks. You need to look at the Bermuda Lawn Guide, look at that, look at the calendar, and figure out what you need for the next six months. And I'm telling you, start ordering a six month supply of your lawn care products. PGF Complete is up there. Also, PGF Complete 40 pound bags, there is a truck on the way up there. So they'll, the 40s will be back in stock, but I don't know that I'd take the chance. I might just order the 18s. Um, the product, the fungus product, new granular fungus product that I'm putting out today is up on Amazon and in stock. Super Juice is in stock. Uh, what else we got in stock? Uh, if you don't have your pre-emergent, especially your nor more northern climates, order your pre-emergent now. Order your pre-emergent so you can get it down. You've got to start getting it down now. Now is the time to do it. So just be aware of that. Now, Humichar... Humichar is slow anyways, and they were scheduled to do another run uh, next week, and so it's not scheduled, so I don't know, they won't even be able to schedule it for a few weeks, so just don't worry. Humichar, we're really going to be putting down in the summertime with organic material. What else? But anyways, today what I'm doing is we're treating for lawn fungus, those little spider webs that I'm going to show you here in a minute. Tomorrow... I'm gonna post a video about killing grubs. The grubs are out. I went over and dug up and I'll show you some grubs that we found. Yeah, we already put down our PGF Complete. If you haven't put it down and you're starting to warm up, like today I'm in shorts and t-shirt, um, put down your PGF Complete, spray a little super juice, and you should be good to go. And that's about it, so hold on one sec. Howdy. Guess what we're doing today? We are doing fungus and disease control. But what I'm gonna talk about today is I'm gonna talk about mainly dollar spot. We've had a lot of wet weather and I'm starting to see some of these little quote unquote spider webs on the lawn. That tells me I got some dollar spot issues. So hold on one sec. But let me show you what I found today. And by the way, up in the description below, I always link to products. I'll link to the product, the new product I'm gonna use on this. And uh, of course, other products that you might want for the next couple months. But uh, look over here. See all those little white little spider webs on my lawn? Well, guess what? That really is a dollar spot starting. And the way you can tell is pretty simple. Uh, if you have lawn spiders, they're usually a little bit larger than this. And they're not like, I mean, you don't have 5,000 lawn spiders sitting right here. So let me get up close on it so you can see it. <clears throat> That's what it looks like. And a spider web actually looks like a web. This just looks like a haze. And that's the start. That typically is the start of um, Dollar Spot. So you can see I got a real problem over in here with it. And then all of a sudden it just disappears over here. So I don't know what I don't know what happened over here, to be honest. I don't know what, why I have so much dollar spot over here. Maybe it's something to do with the garden. We're gonna treat it today. I'm gonna show you the product. It's just a granular product we put out. Real simple, it's on the DG particle, which gives you real good, even distribution. Uh, a lot of people say you don't need to treat dollar spot. I disagree if you have a Bermuda lawn. I've seen dollar spot last years and never go away unless it's treated. So with all this rain we've been having, we need to put it out. Let me grab the product. We'll put some of it out and uh, go from there. So I'm gonna put a link to this spreader that I really, really like for the money. It's about, a, it's about 150 bucks, but it's one of the big spreaders with the big wheels on it. 
The next thing is I want to let you know that uh, Anderson's finally let me know that they got their new 2020 spreader listed on Amazon. And so I went ahead and ordered one. I got one coming, and it's really cool looking. <laughs> Um, it's a step up in quality over this one. This one's about 150. Theirs is about 250, somewhere around there. But I'll link to them both on the page in the description below. I'll link to the prophecy tomorrow. I'll let you know. Um, I found one grub back here, just on top of the lawn, and I went over and tested where I know I have grubs. The grubs are really active, so I'm going to be posting up a grub video as well too. But for today, let's get this stuff out. Lots of moisture tons of wet conditions now it's warm and sure enough i can see this fungus coming up it's a good time to do this now this one bag will treat 10,000 square feet but what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep it just barely that amount and then the areas that i know i see existing dollar spot i actually see some of those little webs over here i'm actually going to do a double pass on those does that make sense so i'm going to keep it pretty light on the rest of the lawn but on the spots where i know i have big patches I'm going to do a double coat on it. So basically I'm just going to open her up and dump her in. And the particles are tiny on this, by the way. So I may even go smaller. Wow, I didn't even realize that they were that small on it. All right, so let me show you what this looks like. Now I didn't realize, I thought the DG's in this, but these are, these are tiny. Let me just show you. Man, you're going to get great coverage with this right here. See how tiny they are? Most of the DG particles are bigger than this, but this is just tiny, tiny. I love this. Man, that's gorgeous. All right, so let's spread it. Okay, so remember, when you have kind of a cloudy day and there's a dew on the grass, that's the kind of time to go out and look and identify and make a note or write it down. Where are the areas that I have these little webs, fungus webs on my lawn? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the fungus web spots first here and on the front I have a little bit. And then I'm going to come back and do everything again. That's what I'm going to do. One of the reasons why I'm wearing gloves is because I want to get that little strip in between my sidewalk and the road. I don't want to do it by hand. But just remember, these particles are really, really tiny. So start off at like between an eighth and a quarter, somewhere very, very small. And if you have to go over and do it twice, that's perfect, that's fine. But just be careful because they're small. Hey guys, so I want to stress something real important here. Make sure you push the subscribe button click that subscribe button and uh, we've got a bunch of videos coming up and I'm also going to keep you informed about the industry and products and what's going on with Amazon deliveries shipments we'll be talking about that from time to time and we've been talking about it since the end of January we've been way ahead of everybody else with this thing about supply interruptions and so forth um, so now I'm done and believe it or not the Sun is coming out crazy absolutely crazy but I was hoping for some sun because my backyard, which we're keeping really, really short, is the only green thing in the whole neighborhood. I've got PGF complete down, I've got super juice down, and this stuff is just, boom, it's just starting to explode. So uh, within, I'm thinking within about 10 days or so, I'm hoping that my entire lawn back here is green and we'll have some guest mowers. We'll bring back Malin, uh, Jacob, and I've got a couple other more guest mowers that I'm gonna have come by and we'll do some real mowing and do some other stuff. Now tomorrow, I'm going over and we're gonna treat grubs uh, over across the street. Really bad grub damage over there. And the, you only have two times to really capture the grubs and that's in the spring and in the fall. So we'll be treating for grubs tomorrow. We're doing the garden tomorrow. The guys are coming over. We're building two additional beds in the back. 
We'll be using some of the humichar and garden biochar to create a supercharged garden soil that you can grow beautiful crops, vegetables in your backyard. We'll be doing that, a whole bunch of stuff. So hit that subscribe button. <laughs> I can't tell you how important it is. So I'm done. Pretty much the girls can come out here because these particles are so small. These DG particles, they go right into the thatch. You don't have to worry, but Linda just came out and uh, you don't have to worry about it with dogs because it goes right into that thatch layer. They're not even stepping on it. And uh, talk to you later. That's about it. Doc.